Hi everybody, so as you know from the title today, I'm bringing you a wide width shoe haul and I have a lot of shoes to go through. And so what I'm gonna bring you is some new stuff that I bought to try out, as well as some old like staple pieces of mine, um, just to show you how like different brands fit because I did try some new to me brands. So I wanted to let you also know what things I normally wear. Um, and then I have a lot, a lot of sandals. So we're gonna go through that, but I just wanna get a couple of things out in the open. So one, thank you to the local Charlotte Plus Size Boutique for the figures for this beautiful dress. I'm gonna be showing it to you later on in another video, um, but it's a perfectly summer and actually, you can go watch my worthy figure um, try on from like my second video or something that I made way back in the day um, because I actually tried on this dress and she gifted it to me recently. So I think it's perfect for spring and summer and I'm really excited to wear it. Um, so thank you so much to Worthy Figures. Definitely check them out. They've recently started um, selling online and she also does styling. Um, she's really cool and she'll actually be at Fat Camp. So that's Amy, by the way. I keep saying she, Amy, the owner of Worthy Figures. Um, so I'm sure you'll see a lot more about her soon. The other thing I want to get out of the way is this. So, um, my weight has fluctuated a lot in the last year and with weight fluctuation, yeah, that affects your feet as well. And so some of the stuff that I wore last year, I can tell is like now too tight on my foot and or has made it too short because the straps have like pushed my foot out a little bit. So you might notice that in some clips. I already know you don't get to tell me. Um, and then also, I'm just having a hard time figuring out my size, even for, for shoe wear. So typically I wear a size 10 if I'm not picking up a wide, and then I'll go to a size nine wide. Um, that has fit really well in some shoes, which you'll see, and not in other shoes. Um, I think some of these I need to go up to like a nine and a half, 10 wide. Um, and then also, just because they're wide width does not mean that they're gonna give you a wide um, ankle strap. So I'm gonna be completely honest about which things don't fit, uh, fit well. Secondly, uh, you're gonna see feet in this <laughs> video. And let me just throw it out there, like it's not comfortable for me to like show you my feet. So um, obviously most of you are like super kind and you know, I got a pedicure. It's not like my feet are nasty or anything, but uh, my big toe like goes upwards and things like that. Like I have yet to meet someone with really beautiful feet, but um, any comments that are like really mean about my feet are gonna get deleted and you're probably gonna get banned because they're my feet. I can't really do anything about it. I'm not gonna get cosmetic surgery on my feet, but just letting you know, it's not fun to put your feet on the internet. So be kind to those of us who are doing the good work here and putting our feet out on the internet for you so you can buy good wide width shoes. Um, but anyways, yeah, laying my insecurity right there out on the table. Mm, be kind. Be kind to my feet. Okay, so let's get straight into it. I'm not going to go in any particular order. And then also, because I did these in, like, different um, shopping trips, I'm not going to say the price because I honestly don't remember, but I will go through, and I'll put the price on the screen that I paid so you know what I paid. A lot of these I got on sale, um, and I'll let you know if some of them are old. I do think you'll be able to find similar styles, um, so I still think it's worth having the information about these different brands and so on, but I wanna show it to you. And also, I wear a lot of sandals, so most of these are gonna be sandals. If you're someone that only wears like tennis shoes, you're not gonna find much from this haul. Okay, so let's start off with a recent purchase. Um, Target does not carry their wide width shoes in store. Um, if you do find a wide in their store, it's likely. Um, someone had returned it because they just don't carry these in store which is a shame because they actually have a really decent wide width shoe collection online so and and they're little like sub brands like universal thread which are these um they have those online so you can get different styles anyways i saw these um in a video from the person on youtube called what kate finds she's a straight size youtuber um and she does some fashion stuff, but honestly, she does, like, like right now, her thing is, like, she only buys five clothing items per month. Um, I just find her to be, like, a really compelling and interesting person. Anyways, she posted that she had been wanting some, like, rattan straw um, detailed stuff for summer. These are shoes she got last year. I found them still online, and I got these in a 10 wide. Um, and I find them very comfortable. So, the band here fits me like pretty much close it's snug um it doesn't it's not like too tight to where it hurts or anything and then this band's actually a little bit big on me um i actually find these to be like honestly 
better fitting than some Lane Bryant styles that are similar to this. Um, it is mildly cushioned. You're not getting like a lot here. I mean, you can see it's pretty thin um, and it has a slight uh, step to it. But I find their 10 wide is a true wide. And um, I think that this strap right here across this part of my foot is the hardest thing for me to fit. That's where I have problems all the time. Um, and these ones fit fine and they're comfortable to wear and I don't see any issues with my feet sliding out of them. So I think this is like a perfect little sandal to add to a lot of different summertime looks. Um, can go with jeans, can go with dresses. So I'm very excited that I got these and that I found them via someone who wasn't even looking at the wides. I just happened to know that Target has wides online, checked it out and got them. style these are from Lane Bryant very similar you're gonna notice these little like things in there and that's because I had so okay let me get my thoughts together this Lane Bryant sandal the inside of it is very slippery so last year I, again during summertime I weighed less my foot slipped a little bit in it now my foot's like stuck um and so I had put um a shoe insert in here and the part that sticks to it like won't come off I'm going to have to scrape this off but anyways um this sandal is really cute it has this little pearl detail um the lighting is slightly blowing this out but it is a pale pink color and then the pearls are um silver and white and I think they're really cute now this is pretty like tight to my foot it's also made of this leatherish fabric this one's in a nine wide um, but they have slight bit more cushion a bit of a salt more solid uh, base to them and old Nate or uh, Lane Bryant kind of comes out with some kind of similar style to this every year um, I think they had these in black for the most part everything held up well there is like one missing pearl and I can see that it was attached via like some kind of like fishing wire but it seems like each one is potentially sewn separately because I don't see any other pearls coming loose here. So that's great. Um, and I'll definitely keep wearing these. But these are one of those ones that I'm like, mm, might need a 10, you know, if I buy that style again. haul then you would have seen these ones I just purchased these these are nine wide from Kato uh, I still remember the price because I just got it these are $21.99 and I really like these so after trying on like all of my sandals in a row I can very confidently say that these are super duper comfortable and they're going to fit a wide foot potentially even an extra wide foot um, I like that you can adjust the ankle strap I have it from second to the bottom um, I will say when I first did it I did put it on the very last one and then like this part kept coming off so it wasn't holding to this so I just went ahead and put on the second one I have had plenty of shoes with this kind of like material before this is going to stretch a little bit I'm not worried and it zipped up fine and it was comfortable on my ankle I do like the double buckle and I like this like reddish brown this is easy to get up and down um, as long as you're putting like your foot forward and I like how I say that and like now it's not zipping well but I'm having trouble with some shoes that are like this and I'm going to show you a pair in just a minute which I'm having major trouble with but this one was fine I got it up um, and yeah so these are from Kato and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on Kato's shoes because very comfortable lots a good amount of cushion in here um, I can see the glue from where it's like attached to the bottom. Do I think these are going to last me like years? I don't know. Some people commented saying their shoes last some years, but these are definitely going to last me through the summer. So I'm excited about these. Again, these are nine wide um, and they fit perfectly. <music> Someone who wears 
tennis shoes very often and these shoes remind me a little bit of like what I used to wear back in middle and high school and I'm kind of here for it um but anyways I saw these I watched Laura Burns who wears a similar size to me and she had gotten these in her trunk club and whenever I was speaking to my stylist about my trunk that I'll be doing later this week I said you know if you can send me these I saw they're available in a nine extra wide so nine ww um i would love to try it out um and laura had mentioned that like this part this little lip here bothered her and so i figured if i got double wide then the nine shouldn't be an issue it shouldn't bother me and um anyways whenever my stylist said she replied back saying she couldn't get them that they were out of my size at least on trunk clubs end i just went ahead and purchased these online they were on sale for 55 dollars which is uh, pr a pretty penny for me considering I'm pretty cheap whenever it comes to buying um, shoes and stuff but I've already worn these once and I am in love uh, I think they're gonna be again super easy to wear with dresses with jeans over the summer just slip them on and go they're very cushiony on the inside um, the width is perfect that WW works well because then it keeps the laces nice and tight um, and so I don't have to worry about like Sometimes, I don't know, have you ever had a try on shoes and like it's not wide enough so you're like you're widening this out as far as it can go and it looks funky? I'm glad that the the double wide means I can keep these laces nice and close. Um, these are my favorite new shoes. I will say I've only worn them once. Gonna have to keep these suckers clean because they're white and they're gonna get dirt on them and I was walking around in the grass and stuff so um but I super love them they also come in black but the black has like this white band at the bottom I'm not sure I care about that um but highly recommend those shoes love them <laughs> I got maybe two years ago and I've barely worn them uh, you can probably tell they're they're good as new I might end up selling them um, just because my feet I feel like these straps are so wide and my feet look really short in them but anyways these are Birkenstocks um, Birkenstocks has their own like sizing dimensions that I don't know probably are European or something it says 40 to 60 L9 M7 oh there's this like family of chihuahuas that live near me and you can hear every time they go out and it like it's so frightening like if you happen to go out or be outside when they're there you're gonna get yelled at yelled at lola's bothered lola it's okay love it's just the chihuahuas anyways me and my friends were at a um shoe like discount warehouse in Asheville. It's one of our favorite places to go when we go to Asheville. And they had both found this and like, you know, like when your friend finds something that looks really cute on them, then you kind of want something that looks exactly like it. So I happened to be like looking around and my friend Ashley spotted the wide. Ashley, like she can key in on some things that I need. Anyways. No. Anyways. They're olive with um, this like bronze uh, buckle, which I think is really cute. I'm just not sure they look great on my shoes and, or my feet, and I've never really broken them in. But Birkenstocks do come in wide. Uh, they already kind of naturally run wide, but you can also get them in wide. Um, and yeah, this is definitely a quality sandal if you want one. <music> the big bucks on Birkenstocks there is this um, style from Madden girl and I'm trying to remember what size I got these in I bought these last year or maybe the year before these are a 10 medium but these run wide and partially because you can change the size of these 
I don't even have, I have this one on the last one, but I don't have this one on the last one. That's how accommodating they are. And they're a squishier interior than um, the Birkenstock. So if you like that Birkenstock style, but you want thinner straps, you want the off brand, these ones are still wide and very comfortable. Um, so I highly recommend, I also have these in black. hit up a couple different places and I'll admit that a lot of them are like UK brands so ASOS is one of them and Simply B is the other so Simply B is a plus size retailer um, they have the most accommodating wide width boots that I've found because you can get the wide shoe plus wide calf and different kinds of dimensions um, so I went to Simply B to get some different sandals and this is one of the ones I got. It has kind of like a snake print uh, style embossing on the material. So it has a snake print style embossing on the material and I got this in a UK 7 extra wide which is a US 9 extra wide. So they do have the option to do extra wide as well as wide which I think makes Simply B way more accommodating. Um, this part in the toe is actually a little bit too big but here you can adjust um, that strap, which like I said is my worst fitting strap. I have it on the second to last, which fits really well. And I like this because it's sling back style. It's really easy to put on. Those ankle straps can sometimes be a killer to try to get on. And this makes it super easy. Um, I really like this. It does have a little bit of cushion and just a slight inch and a half heel, which is about as high as I can go. So I think these are really good uh, buy. They have them in a couple of different colors. I like the style. It was one of the better fitting ones that I got whenever I went and bought some new styles. talking about a bad style. This is from ASOS. Um, I This is ASOS's home brand and I got this also in a UK 7, US 9. Um, I definitely need a 10 if I were to buy this again because it was too short. Um, and for some reason I like misplaced the other one and I gotta find it so I can return it. Otherwise, guess it's going on Poshmark. So biggest complaints about this is these straps come up really high on um, the foot so like if it came down like right here I might have been a little bit better off but it's really closing in right where my toes are which is uncomfortable and then this part is pretty narrow um, this part right here fit fine the strap fit fine this was really incredibly narrow and then hurt my like toe going in I just didn't think it looked good didn't feel good it just wasn't good on my foot. Now maybe if I got a 10, it would have felt different, um, but I didn't feel like this was actually like wide enough. And if this were to go wide, then this would get too narrow and so on and so forth. Um, I want to try out ASOS's wide width shoes because they have cool styles, um, but this is not the first time I haven't had something work out from them. I bought a pair of jeweled sandals that just have jewels going up the center and then an ankle strap and even those were not did not fit at all. I got those maybe three years ago because I gave it to my sister-in-law so she could wear it to like her, um, like the rehearsal dinner for her wedding. Um, they didn't fit my wide foot at all. And so this one also didn't. I don't want to like NYX ASOS from my options, but I might have to. Like they just don't seem to be actually that wide. Um, so yeah, these are them. I think they're a cute style. They had these in animal print. They had them in lots of different types of straps. Your foot needs to be narrower towards the front if you choose to get it. Um, they are from Nine West Outlet, I want to say is where I got them from. And I believe they're a size 10. I bought these 
years ago to the point where like, yeah, I'm not going to find their sides anymore. But I, I include them for a couple reasons. One is that some of the styles I tried on today, their ankle straps did not fit me in the slightest, all right? Um, but for some reason, this Nine West sandal will fit me fine, like this strap. And they have like all these beadings on it, which means like it isn't like I stretched it out or something for it to fit me. Um, I will say I've had these shoes probably five, six years. They're starting to die. I need to go find another Nine West outlet and shop my heart out. I have probably four or five pairs of Nine West sandals that fit me really well. Um, here is fine. Everything is fine. Um, so I'd really like to get them. Oh, I got it in a nine and a half. Good to know. See it right here now. Um, so yeah, Nine West sandals at least five years ago were pretty accommodating. saying ASOS didn't work for me. I remembered that I did have these sandals. I bought these last year. I will say that ankle, I know, is incredibly tight on me. I have it on the last hook. Um, it is very tight. Last year was a little bit more. It fit better, basically. Um, and I got these in a US 9 as well. Again, this part fits me really well. Um, I seem to be okay with these parts. Um, and it doesn't have anything here. This part right here is like super long um, to the point where it's kind of floppy on my foot and then the ankle fits tight. Um, but these are comfortable sandals and I just wish the ankles were a little bit more accommodating. Um, but I'm at the top of their size range, if not a little above it. So I guess it makes sense that they're not exactly made for me. But these are very cute. I love the studs. They're nude colored. The nude is slightly shiny. Um, so yeah, I definitely wear these pretty often over the summer as well. disappointment lane bryant was a disappointment guys um so i've been really wanting some animal print flats um and or high heels to wear purchase these online they're a size nine wide they're so tight on my foot they're the tightest ones on the front of my foot um that any of the ones i bought and then the angle strap a it's like this, so you basically have to wear it fully velcroed, it's gonna just fall off, um, which means my ankle has to be that big and my ankle's not that big. My ankle's bigger than that. Um, so my ankle's probably like, I think I tried to do it and it was like, I need it to be this big and it wasn't happening. So that was really disappointing, I had to return these um, and they're not the only ones that are disappointing. I do think they're well made but I wouldn't say these are the most wide shoes in the world. I'd say if you're kind of edging on wide, then these might be the ones for you. And if you're someone who maybe doesn't wear a size 28, if you're 24 lower, don't have cankles, shop your heart out. These are really nice. They just don't feel at all, fit at all. They're very cushy on the inside. Disappointed, I wanted these to work. They're from Lane Bryant. They were not gonna fit. Um, these shoes from Target did fit and they're not even whites. Um, these are just their tens. I tried them on in store and decided to get them. I could, as soon as I put my foot in, I knew that these would fit fine. And honestly, they're probably going to stretch out a little bit as you go because it's a softer material. Um, I think these feel really good on your feet. Uh, they have these in different colors. 
I'm sure they even have them in wide online. If I can find it, I'll make sure to link it, but I fit fine in it. The heel fit fine, everything fit fine, um, but definitely needed a 10 in this style. Um, so definitely do try on shoes. I've had pretty good luck at Target in general buying stuff that's not wide and it's still working out. Um, so happy about these, definitely keeping them. And these are from the brand A New Day. Appointment from Lane Bryant. I had tried on the gold versions of these in store, tried on the nine, thought it would be fine, got them in the black at home. They are not fine at all. Um, so first is that this middle part, it it does have a stretchy band, but like it is tight, tight on my foot, tight in a way that like I don't know that I'd want to wear. It does fit fine around the ankle, but um, it's it's tight. The problem is I could not get this to go up. My foot was just like too tight on it. So I'm thinking that I would have to get a 10 in these, which is fine. But I still worry that like this would be too hard to get up. Um, not sure it's worth it because unless your foot fits in a way that this can perfectly line up straight, it looks a little odd on your feet so I think I'm just gonna send these back call it a day didn't work out um, well made just again a little bit too narrow for me right here in the middle and the ankle was a little too tight and so I think I just need to realize that Lane Bryant ankle shoes are not for me <music> shoe brands I remember being super accommodating back in the day was New Look so I wanted to try out a style from them um, this is an animal print obviously sandal they had similar styles at ASOS I tried and actually I think I bought this from ASOS um, but they carry New Look has this little mirrored section inside these are again a UK 7 US 9 wide um, hmm this part fit fine. I probably could go with a nine and a half or 10. This part is hard to put on for me. So A, it's too tight. It's just too tight on me. But also um, it's just at a weird like angle. And so it wouldn't be an easy thing to put on for myself. So um, these are no deal. The bottom is cushy, cushy, cushy. It's a very comfortable shoe. Um, I would just suggest it for someone who's a little bit slimmer in the ankle. But yeah, I mean, what can I say? My ankles are too big for them, you know? It's just, it's what it is. I just wish wide shoes like naturally came with a little bit longer ankle straps. And they do, I know they're longer than like regular shoes are, but like another inch. I just want another inch, another inch. Anyways, want want. <laughs> Um, because I didn't honestly just didn't want to put them on but these are also from my order of simply be now this one does actually have a pretty wide um, strap here the strap is fine I just found the material to look really cheap um, it's like a faux suede and I haven't even worn it it just looks like dingy and mm, blah I just saw it and I was like Ugh, I don't even like it it just looks like a really cheap shoe um, but this is an extra wide, which makes sense of why this is actually appropriate for me. Um, and so, yeah, it's okay. I mean, I have this style of shoe. Um, it's just that this one like did not impress me. And so I would maybe look for a different material or pattern. Um, simply be like, if you want extra wides, that's going to be more of your place to go. And so lesson to me, that's more of my place to go. Alright guys, so this one's also from Simply B, and I got this in a 9 extra wide. 
Um, I've been seeing a bunch of these styles. I actually saw something that um, Jessica Torres got that's really similar to this, where it has like a big metal detail on that center area. Um, these ones fit fine, except for this part's a little bit snug on me. Again, not surprised. It doesn't have a stretchy band. It's just made, you know, to fit a certain accommodating thing. The ankle strap was fine, although I'm kind of embarrassed of the try-on because I had removed the ankle strap on one of them to see what it would look like without it. And the ankle strap does come out, like, super easy. Like, even this one, I hadn't removed the ankle strap, but I looked in my bag and it was already gone. Um, so, like, it slides out super easily. Um... And I had tried it on without it because my thought was if the ankle strap was too tight, I could just cut this part off and leave it with just the circle and this, um, which I do think would be cute. This is a really well-made sandal. Um, not everyone's going to love this style, but I do like it. I do think it's pretty tight on my foot, so I'd maybe choose to wear it on a day where my foot's like having a, a slimmer day or something, you know, just for comfort's sake. But it is cute. Um, so again, Simply Be is working out the best so far on fit. Okay, so a Lane Bryant shoe style that worked. Pretty plain one, but one that worked. Um, these are just their basic ballet flats. They do have um, stretch to them uh, right here, and they are very padded. I got these in a nine, and they fit absolutely fine. Um, and so if you want like a quality basic ballet flat that has that leather-like fabric that's gonna hold up really well, I definitely think theirs are a go. I'm so mad at myself because I found this in the bag and thought it was the one that I had put in there just fell out nope I now suddenly have both pairs with ankle straps and I went looking for this other ankle strap and it was in the bag the entire time at least it's fixed now I got ankle straps okay so another favorite brand is one that I stumbled upon at Kohl's last year it's the brand SO um, and I own these. These ones are new, so they're a little bit tighter. I haven't broken them in yet. They're not wides, but they fit a wide foot. The ankle is very accommodating, and they do stretch out over time. I got these plus a black version with red flowers for $3 each in the clearance section last year. I was super excited, and I wore them to death to the point, especially this color, wore them so much that I went on... Um, Poshmark and bought another pair so funnily enough like weird story I found this pair in my size and it happened to be sold by someone I went to fat camp with I was like weird weird connection I wasn't even following her on Poshmark anyways so I got this now so is a brand that whenever I go into store I never seem to find their sandals like this I don't I don't know where they're at I don't know how they exist but um they had a version last year that was um a caramel like tan color that was leather like and it had diamonds in it I have that as well and I just on Poshmark ordered a black version of that because I've been needing black sandals and they're plain black sandals but they're like this they have a strap and they have this ankle this ankle is so accommodating that you can just put your foot in and pull this up over the back um, so I just keep them buckled at all times my favorite sandal that I've owned over the past summers um, and very well made and cushiony and comfortable very soft interior to all these straps. Um, so I really love these. You can probably find them on Poshmark. I've been able to every single time I've looked for them. And I'll insert a picture of the black pair that I just bought. with shoe haul um you know feet change and and it's sometimes like shocking to me that I can wear a shoe that's not wide width at all 
and then a wide width shoe is too narrow for me and I have to get an extra wide width but like not all shoes are created with the same dimensions and some materials are harder than others um, but it definitely looked to me like I'm gonna have to return some of these the Lane Bryant and ASO stuff did not work as well for me as I wanted the Simply B stuff fit really well especially if you can get the extra extra wide um, those tennis shoes I got were also an extra wide so I'm probably gonna look for brands that do that um, and then yeah I mean I still have sandals that I buy at Old Navy every year they're not wide um, Target shoes that are not wide uh, so always try things on just to see um, but if you specifically need wide width shoes I think those are a good place to start I know a lot of you told me to look at Avenue um, there's a widewidth.com there's Jessica London I did check out some of those and just didn't see enough styles that I wanted to purchase right now but I was also on like a sandal kick at the moment so um, I wanted to try out ASOS and all those things but some of them didn't work so maybe next time I will try out a different kind of brand um, something that specifically you know is made just for plus size people um, and hopefully they'll start adding a little extra to the wide width for the ankle and I realize not every big person has wide ankles but I'm guessing more big people have wide ankles than like you know not anyways whew. I learned today that trying on a bunch of shoes in a row is not fun but I did it again I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned some things saw some styles saw some styles you liked or uh, brands you want to try let me know in the comments which style was your favorite which place I need to check out next and I will talk to you later. Bye